Joe Giglio for NJ Sports Now on this Tuesday, June tonight for the next couple days at Yankee Stadium in come the Washington Nationals, a first place team in the Yankees, a team a half game out of first place in the NL East, the Washington Nationals. And you know what? As you get to this series and you watch especially this pitching matchup coming up on Tuesday with Masahiro Tanaka, his second start back off the disabled list for the Yankees, and Max Scherzer, the great righty. Now for the Washington Nationals, as you watch those two square off on Tuesday and you get excited for the series with the Nationals coming in with Scherzer and, of course, the star power of Bryce Harper and with the way the Yankees have played earlier this season, it is not crazy, really. You come into the season, you thought the Yankees were going to be a mediocre, maybe below average team. They have proven early on to be more than that. It is not crazy to think, folks, that this series, yes, the Yankees and the Washington Nationals could be a World Series preview come October. The Nationals, we know, are a very good baseball team. They're better than their record says they are right now. They're a half game out of first place coming into the series behind the Crosstown New York Mets, the Yankees' rival in New York. But when it comes to the Nationals, they have been carried by two players. That would be Bryce Harper, the MVP candidate, 22 years old, as good as it gets as far as a young player in Major League Baseball. And Max Scherzer, probably my vote for the Cy Young right now at the National League. But everything else seemingly has gone wrong for the Nationals, yet they're still right there. Doug Fister on the DL. They've lost Steven Strasburg to a DL, and, and really he's been pretty bad the whole year. They've had so many injuries up and down the lineup with Jason Worth out of there, Anthony Rendon. When at full strength, the Nationals are as good as any team in baseball, certainly as good as any team in the National League. If they get healthy, they will be there. And led by Scherzer, led by Harper, they will make noise come October. And as far as the Yankees, it is time to stop thinking that this, you know, the other shoe is going to drop here. The Yankees are a pretty good baseball team, and they're playing in a pretty mediocre division, which gives them a shot. Not only stay in it all year, but to win the American League East. The Yankees now seven games over 500, six wins in a row. Tanaka back, Ivan Nova on his way back with a rehab assignment. The Yankees have put the pieces together here, and they have a good formula to keep winning. They have pretty good starting pitching and maybe one great starting pitcher in Tanaka. They have powerful bats, and if they get Jacoby Ellsbury back, they're going to score enough runs to win. And then at the end of the game, they have the ultimate weapon, the ultimate weapons in the eighth and the ninth inning. That would be Dylan Patances and Andrew Miller, the most dominant one-two punch in Major League Baseball to close out games. So when you flip on the TV tonight and you're seeing the Yankees and the Nationals, obviously star power with Scherzer Tanaka, obviously star power with Bryce Harper and Alex Rodriguez on opposite sides, the, the phenom from 20 years ago, the phenom from right now. But think further when you watch this series. These teams are both in first place or right there and close to first place. And it wouldn't shock me if they are there all the way through the end of the season. So the Yankees and the Nats, it seemed like a fun series coming in. It seemed like star power coming in. It might be more than that. It might be a series when October rolls around, deep in October, we look back on it and say, how did the Yankees square off when they played in the regular season when they do possibly meet? in a World Series. I'm Joe Giglio for NJ Sports. Now.